Good evening. You may have already seen it on your Facebook feed, a video of a Muslim man flaunting guns outside a Sioux Falls Christian Conference event. is making the rounds on social media. Today, that man is speaking out. Kelo Land's Kayla Kelly joins us with tonight's top story. Kayla? Well, good evening, Sammy. Just last weekend, more than 300 people came to hear former Muslim-turned-Christian pastor Sharam Hadian and Christian radio host Brandon Howe speak in Sioux Falls. The two speakers claim they didn't come with an anti-Muslim message, but 46-year-old Ehab Jaber felt otherwise. I asked him for an on-camera inter interview today, but he chose to hold a Facebook Live news conference instead. You know, if you want to be really scared, be scared. One after the other, this video shows Ehab Jaber showing off the guns he had with him at the Hilton Garden Inn South last weekend. This next clip shows him inside the Worldview Weekend Christian Conference just before security asked him to leave. He had some guns on him, which is one of the security guards noticed that and talked to him, told him that guns weren't allowed at that facility and asked him to leave. The man left. Shabir left this message on his Facebook page soon after. White America is terrified, man. This is ridiculous. Look at that. Look at this. In a Facebook Live video posted today, Shabir claims he wasn't planning to hurt anyone. I did not go to a Christian conference to, to hurt anybody. I went to, to, to uh, either protest. I went to protest an anti-Muslim rally. Shabir says he went to join the pro-Muslim protest outside the hotel. Like others there, he believed the speakers came to promote fear and hate against those who practice the Islamic faith. Um, uh, but what I can't handle anymore is staying quiet about, about injustice. Though he wasn't allowed to bring his guns inside the event, police say his concealed carry permit gives him the legal right to carry them in public. He had a lot of guns with him, but he wasn't breaking any laws. He didn't threaten anybody directly. He didn't threaten any groups of people. Sioux Falls police say that's why they didn't arrest him at the event. Clemens does say the case is now in the hands of the Lincoln County State's attorney to, de to determine whether any possible charges will be filed against Shabir.